What's up guys, it's Nogu here, and this is going to be a full showcase on the new Haunted Path Spectre. So, you can see by the card here, basically it gives you a new meter that you can charge up from either dodging or landing any wind mantras. And the Spectre bar does decay on its own. From getting the Haunted Path, you lose out on four things. Suffocation, so you can no longer stop enemies from using mantras. These types of Haunted Gale, the full jump, since you can no longer suffocate, and a slow but passive tick damage that is from the suffocation itself. So keep in mind going into this, these are the main things you will lose from Gale. So the first card we're going to look at is Apparitions. So instead of the normal Haunted Gale, you give these weird looking ghost-like Apparitions, which basically work the same. After a certain amount of Gale hits, you send out this Apparition or this Haunted Gale. And instead of Suffocation, it's going to apply the Winded Effect, which slows your M1s down. You may see this clip going around, but this is not actually realistic. This needs to be a bug for PvE NPCs, because in PvP, it looks something like this. You see me swing before and then swing after I'm hit. So it's still pretty significant, but you have to keep in mind this effect already existed on normal Gale. It's just that it lasts a bit longer and you can see it a lot more now with the new Haunted Path. Now for the damage, it does around 1% extra. As you can see me get hit by an Astro and impair the Apparition, I take 7%. And when I don't pair the Apparition, I take 8%. So you can make take this as you will. It's just free. It's just more damage for free. You get more damage for free. It's like normal hot to go. Now the last part in the card where it cannot be paired if you are in Phantom Step is the next card we're gonna cover. But just know this part is bugged as you actually can parry them. So this is mostly gonna be fixed or just removed from the card. So the next card we're gonna look at is Phantom Step. How it works is the spectral gauze you see when it reaches at least twenty percent, you can just click X to gain a slight movement speed buff and it turns all your well it turns mostly regular dashes so they're the cooldown into gale dashes so overall this is just a very good card for running as if you ever want to just run away just start clicking x and all those stacks you've built up you need to start running away keep in mind that this will drain your specter garage faster than the normal dk rate and it's the next card we're going to look at vanishing wrath which works off phantom step this card is also pretty bugged right now but how it's supposed to work is when you have phantom stick activated any aerial attacks will teleport you to your target very similar to storm's eyes current aerial attack i couldn't really test range else and started bugging out but i don't you, you can look at this clip and kind of gauge what you're saying but yeah you can see it is pretty bugged as something it does not work at all or only works once i'm not really sure it doesn't seem to have a cooldown always so yeah it's just a card that's gonna have to be bug fixed eventually and now the last card we're gonna look at is possession this card is pretty similar to mirage clone which gives you access to get some potential free damage from just dodging when you're above 50 percent spectral gauge you send out an apparition and this can also be paired so yeah that's basically the full showcase so it's not everything you gain so you gain access to a longer version of Winded. You gain access to potentially, I'm not sure if this is true, but potentially more damage on your Gale Mantras. I'm not sure if Haunted Gale does less than Apparitions. This can only be tested by an actual tester of the game. I can't really test it with what I have available. You gain access to better mobility overall for more Gale dashes. And you gain access to a chasing aerial. So basically storm the aerial. So on screen, you can see what you lose and what you gain. So you guys can make your own decision on whether you're going to run it or not. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. I will maybe make a video on if it's actually better or not. I don't know, but this is just a full showcase so you guys can make your own opinions. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you to Hal Saiken for helping me make the video and Aquatics. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.